Global NCAP is performing today a new car-to-car -car crash test. In this opportunity, we have on one side the cheapest sedan from Hyundai sold in the US market, which is the Accent. This car is made in Mexico. And on the other side, we have the cheapest sedan from Hyundai sold in the Mexican market and all over Latin America. It's the Grand i10. This car comes from a plant in India. Why are we doing this? We want to assess all the difference in terms of standard vehicle equipment, safety equipment from one side of the border, US, which is a market where we know it's well regulated and across the border in Mexico, where regulations are not as they are in the US. And according to the NCAP testing, definitely the results of cars are falling below what we understand should be the standard for Latin American markets. So we're now well into the second UN decade of action for road safety. There's a global plan for that decade, and within that, some very clear recommendations on vehicle safety, which Global NCAP, the Towards Zero Foundation, is 100% behind. The recommendations include standard fitment of electronic stability control, progress on fitment of autonomous emergency braking, intelligent speed assistance, all these crash avoidance technologies, plus application of the minimum crash worthiness standards for occupant protection and also for pedestrian protection. So it's an impressive list of actions required by member states, also by industry, over the next decade ahead. So here we have the Mexican version of the Hyundai, least expensive version of a sedan that you can buy there. But unfortunately in the crash test you can see that the body shell has really crumpled extremely badly with the forces of the crash, the door area has collapsed, the A-pillar is bent, the steering wheel has moved back, and with just two airbags the level of protection in the occupant zone is really rather poor with a high risk of fatal or serious injury. The contrast with this version, which is an American Hyundai, the body shell has really performed well. There are six airbags. Uh, you can see even the windscreen is, is more or less intact. One reason why manufacturers might be doing these kind of differences across the border is one type of regulation in the Mexican market and the other one in the US market. And on top of that, we have also a difference in terms of consumer information. We believe that if in Mexico we have a much more powerful and much more broad consumer information, like for example the star ratings of Latin NCAP, as they do have consumers in, in the US, the difference, the gap will be much shorter or probably they wouldn't exist. And what we want to see is a world by 2030 where all of these regulations and standards and technologies are universally applied to all vehicles across the world.